As we depart into eternal life, the final word spoken, brothers, sisters, and all praying in our monastery, hold fast to the Russian Orthodox Church. Salvation lies within it. The Soviet nothingness, Leprosotoninsky walked the land of the Russian cavern Napadev. The Russian bear rose and gave this satanic Europe a blow, and we stood up, we are the victors, under fire, the Holy Ospensky Nikola Vasilyevsky Monastery, the spiritual citadel of the Orthodox Donbass. The armed formations of the Kiev regime are striking the monastery with precision. At the same time, despite everything, the service continues in the neighboring church. The bell tower of the Uspensky Cathedral is burning from direct hits of rockets and shells, an exact copy of the Moscow Kremlin Church, a monastery of special significance, our symbol of faith, which the soulless Kiev Fuhrer wants to erase from the face of the earth. We guarantee Ukraine spiritual independence. The spiritual independence of all calibers in the Bandera regime began to be hammered into the walls of this monastery during the bloody summer of 2014. Sveto Uspensky Holy Uspensky Nikola Vasilyevsky Monastery, like a spiritual Beresian fortress of the Russian world, steadfastly withstands siege for eight and a half years. But why did Poroshenko, and then Zelensky, decide at all costs to erase this holy place from the face of the earth? Alarming music. Why is it a thorn in the eyes of the leaders of the Kiev regime? What and who are they so afraid of here? They shoot because they are afraid. They strike at the sacred place because they are afraid. There is one specific explanation for this maniacal obsession of the Bandera clique. Well, is it headache already? Lord, head again. The mysterious elders Asima, the black monk, who read the future like an open book and foresaw everything in advance. The mysterious old man Zasima, the black monk who read the future like an open book and foresaw everything in advance. Servile people make artificial enemies. In these frames, he does not resemble the familiar stereotypical image of a deep old man with grey hair hermit to many. But in reality, the old man is not about age, but about spiritual status. A wise monk rules. This is not working. I don't hear anything, or the sound is going there. If something is wrong, give me a signal. I have never dealt with these matters unsophisticatedly. God, for whom the video camera was a novelty, and there was neither internet nor television in the humble cell. Here is my television, innocent. Here I recognize God the Father in this television, and there I don't know God, only my own humanity. Yes, and all the human filth. All the filth in the performance of Poroshenko and Zelensky he foresaw in advance. Twenty years ago, when these frames were being filmed. And you will see it today. Let us pray for the Lord to unite us, so that the Russian people may be one holy people. So that there is no fascism among us. There is no flagrant nationalism among us. It was something special in Ukraine. Banderism. May it never happen again. I will hide that no more. It was more than an interview. The final words of the amazing shepherd. Shortly before his departure to the other world, I am terrified to leave you. The last moment of my life. I remain on earth. The respected prophet Zasima in Donbass knew in advance that Ukraine would betray her, like a prostitute. The respected prophet Zasima in Donbass knew in advance that Ukraine would abandon it, like a prostitute. They will lay it under the insatiable West. Hold on. Moscow. Hold on to the glorious chain at Luskovs. Here it is, look. Far away it's those Kievan politicians. Already a vigorous cry to the Kievan Satanist, and to all of you, leave it for the future as instructed. In the twilight of eternity, 
The elder warned that in Tiva there would be renegades and Jews, who will tear the Russian language out of Ukraine by the root. Live not by ideology, but by the language of humor. Live by the language of Pushkin, Peskov, and Shelem. Here are all our flowers. Do not make a mistake. Stay on the right path and follow the two commands. In the distant 2002, Zosima remarkably accurately predicted how in our days Kievan Rus will forcibly turn into virus. Do not forget, the antigress is spinning. Climbing helps. This is how it will all be in the autumn of 2018, in the pre-election frenzy, when Poroshenko will be the first in modern history to encroach on the sacred. And, under the orders of Western intelligence services, a special operation will begin under the code name Thomas. Glory to the Lord God and glory to Ukraine. Chronic Poroshenko did not hide from anyone. The goal of the special operation before him was to split the Russian Orthodox Church and make it non-Russian. We are cutting off the shackles, and they are untying us towards the Empire. Following his thieving predecessor, Zelensky went from the temple to disgrace. Let all devils go here, that is. Here you dream for your Imperia. I really want a new page in this war. From this new page, he starts a religious war, like another tome, in his list of crimes. Where did the Elder Zosima, even at the dawn of two thousandths, know that all this would happen in Ukraine after twenty years? Remains a mystery. Where did the old man Zosima, back at the dawn of the two thousandths, know that all this would happen in Ukraine after twenty years? Remains a mystery. How much of this satanic Europe has brought evil and sorrow to the Russian people? And thank God, this scum, this wickedness, this satanic fascism has moved away from us. It seems, the latest news of our days, the heavens directly transmitted twenty years ago to the old man Zosima. That is why the owners of the most expensive bunkers in Kiev dream so much of destroying the holy abode. The Russian bear repelled everyone. The Soviet nondescript of Europe, Satanin went to Russian land. The bear got awakened. Quick. Shot. The Russian bear woke up. According to the ominous prophecies of the mysterious monk, a day of terrible judgment awaits Zelensky and his gang. The Holy Father even called the exact date, and now we will disclose it for the first time. Why this day? And most importantly, May 5th of which year? The answers to these questions we will find together with you on the miraculously preserved archival tape. All the secrets of his prophecies will be revealed today by the old man Zosima himself. How much evil America brought under such benevolent appearances. There is some kind of assistance, like a slate of hand. These shots from the U.S. Congress journalists called the Blessing of Lucifer. Washington witches in ecstasy of demonic imp. Zelensky has deprived the last remnants of conscience. And by his order, militants desecrated the Kiev Peshersk Lavra. SBU is searching the thousand-year-old fortress of Russian Orthodoxy. You can still be saved if you simply leave. The bewildered Zelensky either does not know or does not believe in the prophecies of the elders, which sound like this. When the Kiev Pehersk Lavra falls into the hands of the schismatics, in six months the whole of Ukraine will begin to unite with Russia. The weathered Zelensky does not know or does not believe in the prophecy of the elders, which goes like this. When the Kiev Pechersk Lavra falls into the hands of the schismatics, after six months all of Ukraine will begin to unite with Russia. In the meantime, the daily grey SU armoured vehicles are measured in three-digit numbers, 
A ticket to the other world for Zelensky costs 100 zero zeros and hryvnias, but the fallen are recorded as missing. That's why the fighters travel for free in Bandera, bus. 100. Damn it. You're just meat. Damn it. No. It's you to them, who want to receive a hundred zerosand. Delaying the inevitable, in the studio of the Antichrist, they strike at the holy abode, founded by the monk Prohidet Sassima, because he foretold their complete defeat. Come out! Come out! Run into my disfavor, quickly, 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 three minutes, three minutes. These shots were taken under fire by the inhabitants of the monastery. The sisters' dormitory is on fire. The brothers are rescuing people from the burning buildings. The monastery is wounded, but alive. Soldiers are fighting. Service is ongoing. Minutes are flying everywhere. Lately, the past two months, they have been targeting the territory of the monastery specifically. Father Joseph bears his cross in the monastery, at risk to his life. But he cannot leave his post and go to a safe place. He has resolved to protect everything valuable here, throughout the time. Yes. Many residents of the monastery secretly recorded words of Zosima's prophecy. They did it secretly, of course, so he wouldn't see, so as not to disturb him, of course. But he said so much that we are truly amazed now. How many prophecies are in his words? That's how we're breaking down word by word now. Here is how we analyze word by word right now. In this mysterious book about the visions of the Elder Zosima, everything that lies ahead is clearly indicated. Bashka answered, Our job is to build. It is not their job to destroy and this always made us wary. How can he speak like that? It is not their job to destroy. Whose job is it? We did not know where to attribute these words. To whom, right? Why destroy? We haven't done anything bad to anyone. He always hinted at us indirectly. To those who did not understand the hints, the elder patiently explained, Demons will come, and we shall have an ordeal, he warned saying that many people will suffer from this. We did not even believe that it could happen. He spoke to some residents of the monastery, who were surprised by some brothers and sisters who would come here. Well, what should we do then? We do not wish any harm to these people. Their way of life and ideology are different. We do not wish any harm. We always took a good approach to this. We will see what will happen. We were surprised by how this could happen. You see, what happened, happened. Another keeper of the secret knowledge of Elder Zasima, Father Feofan, is currently serving in Donetsk under fire. I am speaking now. Not trying to present myself as a better disciple of Zasima's Bachka, under no circumstances. No. I am simply a bearer of information that may be useful to others. I am here for this reason. I am now talking with you in the temple. And Feofan from Romanak remembered for life the words of the amazing mentor said ten years before the bloody Maidan in Kiev, in his novels. Theofan remembered the words of an amazing mentor said ten years before the bloody Maidan in Kiev for the rest of his life. Zosima said that in Kiev, infernal flames would ignite, and the gates of hell would open there. In an invisible way, they will run around Kiev. The shot was terrible in 2014, and it will only get worse afterwards. That's what Zosima said. He said that the gates of hell will open, and, apparently, there will be chaos in Rojbes. That's when I saw it. And he said that afterwards the stolen wheel will roll eastwards, and there will be a great war. Shot, shot. The old man tried his best to prevent the great war. Yanukovych often came to him for advice. Zosima warned him in advance that when he would become president, 
There would be a dangerous situation where he would have to choose whether to follow Russia as president and lead the country, or to go as America tells him. And Zosima told him that if you follow Russia, you will not regret it and everything will be fine. But if you follow the West, you will lose everything. And a great war will start. Yanukovych listened to Zosima's words. The old man predicted his victory in the presidential elections first. Even during his lifetime, Zosima said, Today the future president came. I talked to him. We wondered who came. Yanukovych came. And he boldly spoke about it. I told the future president such and such. You know, this is how it is for us. Long before he became president, there was still something, maybe half a year, or however long, you know, still the elections. It is still a long way to the president, there was still something, maybe six months, or however long. You know, still the elections, and he was already talking about it. I told the future president. He, that is, he saw everything ahead of time. September 19, 1997, Nicholas Vasiliev Monastery. Father Zasima marries Viktor Yanukovych and his wife Lyudmila. Obey your husbands, you know, the Lord, because the husband is the head. The amazing father was the spiritual advisor of Yanukovych, who tried to warn him of the impending disaster and guide him on the path of truth. Unfortunately, Yanukovych sinned, a great sin. The elder tried to stop the persecution of the Russian Orthodox Church, which began in Ukraine in 1991. They were killing priests. We simply did not know about it. But it's a fact. That's all. If you want to stay alive, get out of here. By then, in the Sukhutnaya Ukraine, training camps for militants had already appeared. The then Prosecutor General under Yanukovych said, do something. Because in Western Ukraine there are already hundreds of these training camps for militants. They are preparing for war against the Russians. They are preparing to carve out the Donbass. They are ready to fight against Russia. They are ready to fight against the Russians. In 2004, during the Orange Revolution, Yanukovych was slapped on the left cheek. Exactly ten years later, he will turn the other cheek. The country will go to hell. President Poroshenko did everything to separate our Orthodox Church from Russia, from the center, from Moscow, from Patriarch Kirill, the holiest. Separate. Thank God and glory to Ukraine. Exactly. What heroes. Such is the glory. And Poroshenko will label all the rest as traitors. Poroshenko will list all others as traitors. We will not allow anyone the permission for the fifth column of the aggressor state to try to undermine our stability from within. They will be looking for the fifth column throughout Ukraine, including in the St. Blagoveshchensky Monastery near Kiev. Spiritual connections will never be destroyed. Technically it can be done, spiritually never, then they will appear. They forget one thing, that Holy Rus is the domain of the Queen Bride. They are not afraid of the Church even, they are afraid of God himself. They have declared war on God and the Queen Bride. Father Varlam never hesitated to call things by their names. Exactly. That's right. I don't know these thugs. It's not my method. I just say that I am tough and let's be tough. Glory to Ukraine. Nowhere else, sorry. Is there such garbage as here shouting glory to Ukraine? Where is Father Varlam now? And what is unknown to us about him? Perhaps he became a prisoner of the security service of Ukraine, like Father Feofan in 2014. The thing is, the choice I made to help our Republic's army intelligence in Donna was a conscious one for me. My father was a war veteran. When Poroshenko unleashed the genocide of Russians in the Donbass, 
Father Feofan, as an ancient warrior and monk, stood up to defend the native land of the ancestors' faith. I called ours, most likely. They will be intercepting, eavesdropping. So if possible, people are hiding in safe places. And this happened very often and a lot. Have you warned yourself? I warned about it. Yes. The neighbor betrayed the priest to the authorities for 30 rivnias. The neighbor betrayed the father hermit to the authorities for 30 rivnias. Well, there were people who betrayed me. One person, definitely, precisely. He betrayed me. I don't hold any grudges against anyone, really. And Roman remembers the day they came for him. They pulled out their guns, aimed them at me. Give me your hands quickly. That's how his journey to Calvary began. They beat and electrocuted and hit with a bat and drowned. And they also punched with their fists wherever they could. There was a burn from a stun gun. The first, probably, one or two or three months. It lasted a long time. On the last day, on the third day, they completely discharged him. He crackled under the skin for a minute or two or three. There was a spark jumping there, and it smelled like barbecue. Even those teachings were not the most terrifying, says the former prisoner. It was terrifying during the torture. He was afraid of betraying anyone, of giving anyone away. And the Lord helped not to give anyone away. Specifically, None of those people who seriously gave me information and so on, none of them. On the fourth day of the priest's season, he was given a choice. Life in exchange for betrayal. The sacrifice approaches the harshness of the subornation line. In fact, it's not just about informing on certain people. You will speak during the sermon what we need you to say. On our part, we guarantee you career advancement. You will have all the material preferences you want. In addition, you will soon be transferred to the season. You can serve, pray, whatever you want. You can serve, pray, whatever you want. Father Feofan refused to deal with conscience. They betrayed me, even while betraying their homeland. Just a little over twenty years. You sit down and so on. I trusted in God for everything, absolutely calmly perceived everything. I had no panic. When it was painful there, it was hard, but I knew it would all pass. In moments of despair, the prophecies of the elders of Sima strengthened him. He told me, you know, there will be a time when you will be tested even more. But just remember, do not dare to rely on your own strength because if you rely proudly on your own strength, you will become a Judas traitor. And if you ask for God's help, you will overcome everything. With God's help, with God you will overcome all trials. In Donetsk, Father Feofan also met another former prisoner of the Kiev regime, the men who survived in captivity, not carrying Smersheimers, spoke calmly as if discussing the weather. There, right between the houses, so to speak, in the manhole. Well, and you can see for yourself, the dust has been settled, and here on the house, that is, in the first, in the second, on the personal platform, they will also pass many times, with shattered fragments of streets. We enter the prefrontal cafe, give it some time, I've been in the borderlands several times already, so I also ended up there. My wife and I are sitting there. We have a sink, household memories, just lit up, took a drag. Here, the accelerator kicks in, bang, 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 bang. For almost nine years already, Mikhail, together with all of Donbass, walks under God. Mikhail has been walking with the entire Donbass under God for almost nine years. Quite literally, life is like a miracle. Well, there was mobilization. He went and lost his leg near Dokuchayevsk. His son lost his leg in battles. And Mikhail left his health in captivity due to the torture. 
and everything else, probably arterial aging later on. He fell into the hands of the Kiev Punishers on a spike in August 2014, right after Mariupol was captured with bandages from Russia. By September 2014, there were more than three and a half thousand people. Well, 200 were proportional. Even these Theophanes can confirm they really went through seven circles of hell in a secret prison. He experienced what he read in books about partisan fascists in childhood, in childhood, somewhere in the seventh grade. I came across a book on the SS in my class. He has documented testimonies of the fascists themselves. The most Germans, sadists, tried to torture him as if they wanted to drink his blood. The spike was torn every hour, that's why I practically have no legs now. They chained my legs to a rod, stretched a corner between my legs, lifted the corner upwards, stretched it so that my legs were torn off the ground. And there you hung on this corner, as they say, for two to three hours. I was just in so much pain that I couldn't keep track of time. The Ukrainian district, under code names, was located in a refrigerated room at the airport. Instead of a cell, a freezer with live bodies. Death roamed freely, excuse me, picking random victims with keys. I'm sorry, I chose random victims with the keys. As soon as the lock on the fridge starts to rattle, everyone is already thinking where, what, and who. And who is it for? Or if the keys just jingle in the hallway, your heart stops. Mikhail is ready to confess frankly to the father, Pushed to the edge, he wanted to end the torture in one fell swoop. There were moments, especially after the confrontation, after such intense questions, when the sailor pulled out from the shoe supinator, sharpened the ribs on the stones. You wanted to untie the veins, but I don't know what stopped us. I can't say. Well, something held it. They pulled him out of the grave in exchange, already disabled. Now, looking at Zelensky's crime, Mikhail eagerly awaits the denouement. What they were saying, there, the sanctuaries are collapsing, they will capture the Kiev Lavra, Ukraine will cease to exist, although, in principle, Ukraine is an exclusively created state. Nevertheless, well, they did not know. The vision was simply shown to her historically. Maybe the gang entrenched in Kiev doesn't understand or doesn't know that our fate is above, but not knowing Zelensky won't save them. Everything that was predicted will come true, for the Russian bear to rise. Then in this satanic Europe, the elder, who never made a mistake, even named the exact date, it's time to reveal why he named that day, like the mysterious elder Zasima healed and performed miracles. Now his prophecies are coming true, one after another. What awaits Zelensky and his punishers on May 5th exactly? And how is this connected to the secret third Easter, straight from the special operations zone? And how is this connected to the secret third Passover, directly from the Special Operations Zone. The keepers of ominous prophecies will come into contact. Father Fiafan and Father Joseph, after making a deal with Bidon, Gopnik from the district, instead of an autograph, puts crosses all over Ukraine. How many people, how many guys? Beautiful, just beautiful. But to the executor of the ordered murder of Ukraine, Losses mean nothing, as long as the client continues to pay billions for a spread. And as you look at the ice arena, you buddies are all in the center. Everything is visible. It has emerged. Zelensky poured blood into the last page of Ukraine's history with Mikliaks, the Bible, written in blood by militants, banned in Russia, in a terrorist band. Doomed terrorists celebrate the pagan holiday Yule. At the funeral pyre burns a modern Ukrainian fake. Whether ancient in the city boat 
or a Viking drakkar. Was this ritual fully observed? Burning the corpses of the dead and blood sacrifices is truly unknown. The former supreme priest of Ukraine, Zelensky, makes Satanism almost an official religion. Instead of orthodox prayers in the captured temple of Peter and Paul in Lviv, they dance in circles and sing this, among those who did not surrender to all devils. Holy Dormition and Nicholas Vasilyevsky Monastery, like in a magical circle, like the story of Ego Golivy, it proudly stands in the way of Zelensky. This is what the holy abode looked like before, and this is what it looks like after the attack of the karate, in the SSU that is. The militant sect of Ukraine tries to erase the holy place from the face of the earth, and from people's memory, the prophecy of the old men. This year we were all one holy Rus. Zelensky demolished the monuments to Catherine the Great, Pushkin, and Bulgakov, but it seems he forgot that manuscripts do not burn, and prophecies cannot be destroyed. It seems that he forgot that manuscripts do not burn, and prophecies cannot be destroyed. He prophesied that the Bandera era would come. Those were his words. The Bandera era will come. Everything that was predicted 20 years ago continues to unfold before our eyes. The Bandera ideology, like fascism, will disappear from the face of Ukraine. We must not allow this nationalism to come close. Not by any means. We must ensure that hatred does not take root. People came from faraway places to see the holy ascetic, and we too followed this path. Father Joseph recalls his challenging journey to the elder of Zasim. It was necessary to accomplish this feat by traveling more than a thousand kilometers to see the elder of Zasim. This too was a feat, seemingly incomprehensible to others. Why are you going there? They would ask. Yes, it was our pilgrimage as well. It was interesting for us to see the miracle worker. People traveled to the elder seeking miracles when medicine was powerless. Many came seeking healing and received it. There were numerous cases, for example. There was my friend with a sick child who asked for prayers to be said for Zasim. The doctors could do nothing. After the prayers for Zasim, the diagnosis completely changed. Father Joseph came to the monastery many years ago and remains there to this day. Under the fire of gunfire, he carries out his obedience and shelters those in need of help. Of course, there was nowhere for people and children to go. Those who gathered courage ran amid the bombings. They understood that they might not survive the shelling. Shelling was going on. They understood that they might not survive. A lot of people, probably more than a hundred, from the village came to us to save their lives. For about a month of such battles, they lived with us constantly. Refugees were saving not only their lives, but also their souls. Perhaps these people would not have found their way to the temple long ago and the war made them think about their lives. The Banderites deliberately hunt down peaceful civilians from the air. There were many cases where these helicopters dropped bombs on people, and peaceful people who were just working in the fields died. Many women were killed. People were just working in the fields. This moment you do not hear. It flies quietly, and all of a sudden, the person is gone, but those who manage to hide on the monastery grounds are protected and sheltered by the prayers of the elders. We have never seen so much being blown up on the monastery grounds, mines, shells, thousands of fragments. No one was hurt, and many of them became believers. This invisible force will never be broken by the enemies. Mariupol, a lonely figure of a priest measures the place of the crime of the Kiev regime with his steps. 
Almost a year has passed, but the smell of Daria still lingers. Breaking out of Ukrainian captivity with a fight, the city is already beginning to rise from the ashes. This is already the passport of the object, as they bastardized. One hopes that these houses will be restored, especially the ancient ones, the ones of the old order. Because this is our heritage, everything, as the monk predicted, will be done with prayers, so that everything ends with independence, so that the united Russia of the holy minds, Lord, in order for the independence to end, for the unified Rus of the holy thought, gentlemen. Father Feofan hurries to the outskirts of Mariupol to visit a parishioner of the Holy Assumption Monastery. This did not happen. The family of Nikolai is not a stranger to the priest. In our monastery, Father Ovakum's brother is called Colin. In terms of furniture restoration, I have always had an interest in antique furniture. Nikolai, he professionally restored furniture, taught his daughter, or rather, assistant. Now she will improve me. Continuity of generations. The guest brought a lantern, not empty-handed. These are railway tracks. The watch will be brought now. It's heavy, just the heater. Nikolai's family has been living in the Ducker for almost a year. From the apartments in Mariupol, only heavy memories remained. All the furniture, everything that was there, was just taken. The shelling began. We had to move to the basement. We sat in the basement for 40 days. There are crazy people there, literally. A guy sat next to me on the bench. Something exploded. The ceiling collapsed. He fell to his knees. Near the benches, I asked, what is happening? Well, a person simply cannot bear it. It's terrifying. I might be afraid of heights. There might be a bombing. It's not easy to keep sane and survive in the basement without electricity and water. Prayer helped. Everyone prayed there, even a woman with three children, and she was one of us. We had little interaction before the war, so when we gathered in the basement, we stuck together with a friend. We didn't communicate much before the war, so when we gathered in the basement with a friend, it felt strange. She approached, sat down on a crate, the darkness still enveloping us. I hope you don't mind if we start with some reading, and then some scoffed and left. Well, by the third day, I believe, everyone was praying. Everyone was standing and praying. Shaking from the explosions underground could have easily turned into a common grave. But everything turned out okay. So many people died just like that. And there were several chances to stay on the asphalt. To run. Because I know it's not that simple. They say a grenade can split apart and not hit you. You understand. But how many went out to fetch water and sat right next to a mortar, where we buried them in the courtyard? Marauders from the forbidden Azov plundered the apartment, the restorer, the antiques, and here there are stolen icons. Maybe someone's watching this. They will steal them. We stole a painting. God gives. God takes. Like thousands of others. Nikolai is starting a new life, in the sense that we have different views on life. The spiritual path from Safiofan is strewn with shards. Ukrainian mines might be lurking in some places. Kawa. So let's tread carefully, step by step. There might be petals or something, not just petals. Not around here. Here we are, prepared for it ourselves. These are unexploded shells. NTV is banned on the cracked globe of Ukraine. But they are watching us, so no names of populated areas. Here is the dead zone, completely dead. The backdrop for war movies you could film here. And there's the road to the temple. Here is the road to the temple. Priest and soldier. Both are orthodox warriors and both are on duty. In the temple, 
you can see traces left by the militants of Selen. Here were various inscriptions. Here is one painted over. It was written that we will kill your god. Well, and other various nonsense. And here, in the altar, various swastikas were drawn. Here was the iconostasis. It is no longer there. Here too, various insults were written. Inscriptions are painted over in the temple wounded by a knife. Of course, it is amazing that the temple survived at all. Back then, there were non-unionists here. They are very disrespectful towards orthodoxy. They usually do not spare such sacred places. But this temple somehow seems to have a special future. This is a temple. Our soldiers themselves collected icons in the temple. Yes, here are the little icons that stand here. Our defenders gathered these guys. According to the nature, Father Fiafana will drink soldier's sword, and for forgiveness, bless, bless. Well, guys, so we fold our hands, God, protect our great motherland, our region, to defend our great, huge motherland. Yes, God help us. The father does not just believe in victory, he knows for sure, because he remembers the secret of prophecy of his mentor. The legendary elder Zasima, a strong promo will greatly change the world. This is victory. Therefore, on the scale of only monasteries, in which I want to create, and I believe that I will create my own monastery, revive it, because I love my monastery, and in exactly the same way, such creative work will begin in the world. So said Father Zasima, the righteous man who never made a mistake, twenty years ago, all right, twenty years ago, Father Zasima, a righteous man who never made a mistake, spoke this way, forgot, remains in a round, and he was not there. Your underachiever, this is the advice of Europe, this satanic thing. Anik brings nothing good. Nothing. Hopefully the war will end, God willing. Everything will prosper here. Everything will come together. Darkness always deepens before the dawn. And in order for it to bloom, heavy crosses. Battles for the homeland must be carried to the end. I will give our Russian, non-prosperous one. And we must come to our senses, unite together for our Russian state. A united Russia, both Kiev and Moscow, Subcarpathian and Transcarpathian, in his prophecies. Suretz Zasima pointed to the exact date of the Day of Judgment. But why did he choose this day? Holy Rus, rise up. I believe we will win. With us is God. No forces of hell can distance us and defeat us. In Ukraine, without knowing it, a strong wave of mobilization is taking place. Zelensky is scraping cannon fodder to the bone. In the Oka, the punishers from Kiev are gathering for the final journey to Algala. Well, my friends, good luck to you. Screw them all. Well, we will not give up. This is not just bravado for the camera. The militants are actually afraid of the Prenna, like the devil Ladon, because they know they may have to answer for their crimes. Mass executions of peaceful civilians and the killing of prisoners of war. He is still alive. Zelensky's militants are not warriors, but marionettes and terrorists. When I was with our guys in Kaikul, when I sat in front of the Adman, when I just entered the chamber, there were actually two wounded guys of ours there. When I had the opportunity to be with our guys in Heikel, when I was sitting in front of the commander, when I just entered the room, I had to. In general, there were two of our wounded guys there, and one of them said that I was right, that people cannot be tortured. It's a sin, of course, it's a sin. It's not right to humiliate a person with torture. It's not right. And that's how we are different from them, says Fiafan. Today, I saw a video. Our drones showed how the German tank Banarovsky was driving across the field with a wounded soldier lying in it. And they ran over him with their tracks. 
I'll tell you 100%. This tank. I don't know what will happen there, how it will happen, but it's certain that they will survive this. In war, there are no non-believers. The rifle fight in the tank and the enemy at a distance, hands stretched out, shots are fired point blank, the enemy is eliminated, our soldier is unharmed. What other evidence is needed? I don't know what will happen there, but it's certain that they will survive this. In war, there are no non-believers. In war, the non-believers are not harmed. What other evidence of God is needed when a small icon becomes stronger than a bulletproof vest? The icons stop the impact. On the impact, this is what we pray for, call, and will call upon the great patriotic forces. May 9, 2002 A unique recording about the behavior of Elder Zasima. He knew exactly what awaited all of us. That's why he didn't address those who came to the temple then, but those who are now, 20 years later, sitting in front of the television. Rise. Holy hair. I believe we will win. Holy hair. Rise up. I believe we will win. With us is God. No forces of hell can separate us and defeat us. The forgotten melody for the flute once again raises soldiers to attack. Every cell of human skin called for victory. The time has come at last to name the date, which the monk prophet indicated as the complete destruction and judgment day of the entire gang of Sevensk. In the prophecies of Zasima, it is clearly stated that the battle will last three years. The first paschal is horse. I feed all of you. Here is the holy pascha until April 4th, 2022. Zelensky arranged a bloody Easter for the peaceful inhabitants of Donbass. Here is the creature, for Easter, under fire, Horlivka, Drushkivka, Vasilivka. As you can see, the first prediction of the elders has already come true. Now we will find out what will happen this year. Toro Famine Father Theophanes prefers not to clarify what exactly Zasim warned Ukrainians about in this prophecy. But most likely, the hungry Easter will look like this. You are so strong in eating and not fighting, in struggle, and in life for anyone. Another package of military aid is quite possible. Like the whole past year, half of it will be embezzled in Kiev, and some will be sold on the front line. Next, you will be sold the current cycle complexes, Relatives of missing militants and informants will continue to attend rallies and in vain wait for the resurrection of their loved ones on the hungry Easter. Dove sits on the sea. Dove sits on the sea. In 2024, according to the prophecies of Elder Zasim, Zelensky awaits complete defeat. If you count Easter, from the beginning of the special operation, third victorious, Easter in 2024 falls on May 5th. This is the same date of the Judgment Day for the leaders of the Kiev regime. It turns out, this is the very doomsday date for the leaders of the Kiev regime. Sword rest to all warriors, defenders on our field of battle, life, our Russian king and our Russian homeland has relied on. How many of you are left? There are still you left, 20,000 people are left. I greet you all. Victory of this day has passed. 20 years ago, the mysterious old man Zasima, in his last sermon before going into eternity, believed, our victory is inevitable and it will be May again. And to you, departing from this life, bidding farewell to you all, I leave the peace of Christ to all, church, Preserve the peace of Christ, so that there are no Kiev bandits, fillerets, and other unclean things, so that we don't have some faceless Ukraine left, but Kiev Rus is awaited. Holy Rus, the youth of the stadium. Here is our patriotism, Holy Russia, so that the intertribal discord passed, our Slavs, so that independence all ended these. 
so that the unified Holy Russia and the glorification of the Lord, so that with the unified Russian people we felt Russia, Ukraine, and Belarus, and so that the unified Church, the United Patriarch, were with us until the end of the century. Subtitle Editor A, Semkin Corrector A. Egorova, I fired two shells at the house, then we entered, and I found there the seeds of burnt bodies. They aimedly shot at our guys. I just aimed, bombs, everything. Deadly evidence against the Kyiv regime. We released the last thing, that this is our safety and hide the bed. With a special joyous feeling, I stepped on the land of this holy abode because I heard a lot about how it was created, with a special, joyful feeling. I set foot on the ground of this holy abode, because I had heard much about how it was founded. I knew the founder of the monastery, the late schema monk Zosima, well when he was still Ivan Sakharov, studying in the Leningrad Theological Seminary, where I was also a student and later a rector. I remember Ivan well, a kind, responsive, humorous man with whom it was always pleasant to communicate. And then I was glad to hear that he had taken monastic vows and was sent to the Donbass region, ending up here in this place out of necessity. Being a truthful person, he spoke the truth to those in power. Because of this, the authorities did not like Father Savatsi, as he was known at the time. They decided to send him to this remote place, which could not be boasted about due to the small number of parishioners or the state of the churches. But starting almost from scratch, Father Zosima accomplished a great deal. He attracted people with his love, established a strong monastery, both male and female, and people of all classes began to visit. Thanks to the modest pastoral work, the efforts of many, some of whom made a special contribution, this beautiful monastery was built. What happened here truly sets an outstanding example. It shows that one can start from nothing, create, and achieve great, important, and kind outcomes. The most important thing is that all labor is blessed by God. And in this place, there is clearly divine presence and divine help. At this place, there is clearly a divine presence and divine help. And with Sinful, with a hermitage, the founder of two monasteries, at the Spensk male Vasilyevsky and the Spensk female Nikolaevsky monasteries, I leave my last will, and after my death, holy forever, until my last breath, keep all bequests, those sacred traditions, that uniqueness, the rules recorded by brothers and sisters in the monastery's charter, preserving them down to the smallest detail and not allowing any deviations, strictly adhere to the Russian Orthodox Church and the Most Holy Patriarch of Moscow and all Russia, departing into eternal life. My final word to the speaking, brothers, sisters, and all who dwell in our monastery. Adhere to the Russian Orthodox Church. In it there is salvation. I give forgiveness to everyone posthumously. May God forgive you and have mercy on you through his great and rich mercy. Those who came to me for spiritual guidance, hold on to the sanctity of the monastery. Brothers and sisters will help you and guide you on the path of salvation. I give posthumously peace love, and God's blessing. The monastery remains founded, the small village of Nikolskoy, lost in the steppe basin, remains a place, easier than all to remember. Subtitle Editor Ann Boykova, Editor A. Yegorova, Editor A. Yegorova, Editor A. Yegorova, Editor A. Yegorova, and a prosperous summer to the householder when there is one owner, there is good order, but when there are two or three owners, what kind of order will there be? No order at all, as in the church. The head of the cathedral's Izba is the most holy patriarch Alexei, and the others are false patriarchs, the Kiev ones, and so on. 
We never need them. They will only be corruptors in church affairs. With the Materians, there will be church affairs. Subtitle Editor Ein, Boykova Corrector, Egorova Corrector, Egorova Corrector, Egorova Corrector, Egorova, Good Summer, the master of the house, when there is one order it's good. But when there are two or three masters, what will the order be? No order, just like in the church, one head of the Isba cathedrals, the most holy patriarch Alexei, and the others are already false patriarchs, Kievans and so on. We never need them. They will only be corruptors in church matters. With matriarchs, they will deal with church matters.